Today's skill is transcutaneous pacing. The necessary equipment for this skill is a monitor slash defibrillator, pacing pads, medication for sedation and oxygen if necessary, and of course the appropriate PPE, gloves. The first step to performing this skill is to identify the rhythm and condition that requires pacing. We then ensure our patient is adequately oxygenated and has a patent IV line established. The patient is assessed for pulse and blood pressure, and the pacing pads are applied according to manufacturer's specifications. After evaluating the scene for safety, we activate the pacer mode on the monitor. We make sure that every QRS complex is recognized by the monitor. We set our pacer rate at the appropriate level and the energy setting at the lowest level possible. The pacer energy selection is started at its lowest setting and is gradually increased until capture is achieved. Capture is noted when there is a QRS complex after every pacer spike. We then inquire about the patient's allergies and administer any medications necessary for comfort or sedation. We reassess the patient to include blood pressure and pulse and monitor for any adverse effects of pacing.